Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, October 23, 2015. This week, how to make a frame overlay from a template. Digital templates are a versatile product that can be enjoyed over and over again using different papers and photos. One way you can change the appearance of a template is to create a frame overlay using the template blocks. Here's how. Begin by opening the template you want to use. For the example, I used Layered Memories number 115 by Maple Brook Studios. This technique really looks best using a template with a number of photo blocks that do not intersect. Scroll down in the Layers panel until you find the first photo placeholder. It's usually labeled Photo, or in this case, Photo or Paper. Click to select it, and it will become highlighted. Now hold down the Control key, or on a Mac system, the Command key, and scroll down to find the next Photo Placeholder layer. Click to select it. Now you should have two highlighted layers. Keep clicking Photo Placeholders while holding down the Control key until you have selected all of the photo placeholders in your template. Once they're all selected, drag the photo layers that are selected to the Create a New Layer icon. It looks like a little post-it note with a turned up corner. It will either be at the top or the bottom of the layers panel depending on your software. When you drag and drop them onto the new layer icon, it makes a copy of each of those layers. While they're still highlighted, merge the copies by pressing Control e or on a Mac system, Command e on your keyboard. This creates a layer that contains all of the photo placeholders. Drag this layer to the top of the Layers panel. Next, create a layer under the photo placeholder layer by pressing Control or on a Mac system command while clicking the Create a New Layer icon. Press Control Backspace or on a Mac system command backspace on the keyboard to fill that layer with color. The next step is to cut out the frame. Click the top layer to select it. Control click or on a Mac system command click the thumbnail of the top layer. It's over here on the left side of the layer. This selects all of the merged photo placeholders. You'll see marching ants surrounding all of the photo blocks at this point. Hide the top layer by clicking the layer visibility icon, which looks like an eyeball, on the left side of the layer. With the marching ants still active, click the second layer, and then press delete or backspace on your keyboard. Press Control D or on a Mac system Command D to remove the marching ants. Now you can delete the top layer by dragging it to the trash bin in the Layers panel. At this point, you have a cutout frame on top of your template. Add a drop shadow style to the frame layer. Katie Pertit's Drop Shadow Styles number one and Drop Shadow Styles number two make this step really easy. Just select the installed style you want to use and double click it. This gives the top layer the appearance of popping off the page. To continue, open a piece of digital paper. Use the Move tool to drag it onto the template document. If you hold the Shift key while you click and drag it over, it will be centered on top of your document. Make sure that the paper comes in one place above your new frame layer. If it isn't, you'll need to drag it into place. Press Alt-Ctrl-G on a Mac system Option-Command-G if you're working in Photoshop. If you're working in Elements, press Ctrl-G or on a Mac system Command-G to clip the frame and the paper layer together. This is like digitally gluing the paper onto the frame layer. Press Ctrl-E or on a Mac system Command-E to merge the paper and the frame layer into one. To finish the project, use the clipping method to digitally glue photos to each of the photo placeholders in the template. You can drag embellishments above or below the frame layer by dragging the layers up and down the layers panel. So if I wanted this bird up above the frame, I would just drag those layers up above the frame layer. Remember that layers you don't want to use can be hidden or deleted. 
you can just click the layer visibility icon or drag the layers to the trash bin. Use kits and element packs to decorate the frame to your liking. Using this easy technique, you can give a template a shadow box effect. It's a simple way to recycle your template purchases. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.